Hey everyone, this is Mark. Um, just another value uh, kind of shading exercise today. I, I wasn't happy with how it went yesterday, so um, it just, just means you gotta practice. <laughs> so um, I did three shapes today. I did uh, the sphere, I did the cube, and I did like a weird, I don't know. I, I tried, I was about to do an umbrella, but then I ended up doing a uh, weird, bulby, weird, shape, that thing. It looks like a seal, but then I ended up tr trying to think of it like a, a weird donut or something. Really intense donut. But anyway, um, went pretty well and, and I got it, you know, out first thing in the morning, which uh, was really helpful. Uh, I think I'm going to just do that from now on. Um, the whole thing uh, took me about half an hour or so, give or take, and uh, that was really uh, helpful. <laughs> so I'm going to try and keep this practice up. Just first thing in the morning, get up, pump out some art and then um, go on. And, and I did something different here. I, I did some shading. I, I did a blur on my, um, I tried some different effects first, but then I ended up going with a blur, um, a Gaussian blur, and then painting again over it with a brush to give it a little more texture. So I didn't really like the smudging effect that much. Uh, that looked cool, that's like a planet. I didn't like the smudging effect that much. So instead of doing a smudging, I did a Gaussian blur and then I just added some brush strokes on top of it. Some, tapping the brush strokes and then that sort of gave it uh, sort of a, a texture to, to the sphere. So you'll see when I uh, do the blur, I'm just doing some, adding some highlights and some dark dark lights, whatever that's called. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so uh, just working through it, working through it. There, so I did the blur and I'm kind of finding a, a good place to do that. And then I go in with the brush and I add a little bit of texture to it, just so it doesn't look so manufactured. It looks like it's a little bit more man-made sort of thing, right? Or, you know, even machine-made, but not uh, fake. Anyway, the cube is hard. I've still got to figure out how to light a cube effectively. Um, I didn't do, do it that well, but I think the little donut thing went okay, because there's lots of little shapes and things to work with, so where places you can shade it and work with that. So, a lot of fun. I'll just let this uh, video keep going. Uh, enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.